When you get your ballot for California's November election, you may notice that there's a ballot measure that claims to end slavery in our state. Coming up, I'll tell you why the initiative has nothing to do with ending slavery. Obviously, slavery doesn't even exist. Uh, but it does give prisoners, criminals, more rights. We'll explain how. I'm Carl DeMaio, Chairman of Reform California, and in California, our liberal politicians, they believe that criminals are the victims and that we need to protect their rights and we have to do more to ensure that we care for them and that we uh, uh, give them as many benefits as possible. It's coddle the criminal mentality that has led to the California crime wave that we're experiencing right now. And it's offensive to the victims of crime and the rest of us in society who pay our taxes and follow the rules. The latest effort to give criminals more rights is being masked uh, by this absurd notion that we need a state constitutional amendment to quote, ban slavery in California. Now, you know that the left loves to race bait and they're always seeing uh, you know, that somehow there's some evil injustice out there in the world of racism. Uh, they promote a lot of bad policies in the name of combating racism. And this latest one is just another one of those bad policies. Uh, they've put an initiative on your ballot for the California's November 2024 election. It's called uh, the ban on uh, slavery in California. As you know, we don't have slavery in California. We never have. We entered the union as a free state, but that's how they're trying to wrap this uh, initiative up. Now, here is the legalese. Uh, Proposition 6, which is ACA 8, and it just says slavery. Um, as of the recording of this video, we don't have the official title, but I can guarantee you it's going to say something about banning slavery. So here is um, the uh, uh, actual text of the constitutional amendment. So they want to shove this in our state constitution. ACA 8, uh, California's Constitution prohibits slavery and prohibits involuntary servitude, except as a punishment to crime. Ooh, hold on a second. So you're telling me that we already have banned slavery? Yeah, that's the concept here. Um, they say AC8 would prohibit slavery in any form. Well, you said that we banned slavery, but there is one exception. And that is when someone is convicted of a crime and sent to prison, Yes, in that limited case, since they've, you know, betrayed the rights of society, we say, well, you also as a criminal aren't going to get rights. Like, we're not going to allow you just to roam free. Uh, we're going to put you behind bars. And because the taxpayers are on the hook to pay for your room and board while you're in a prison, you're going to defray some of those costs by doing some work details at the prison. So ACA 8 is not at all about slavery. It's all about the rights of criminals in state prison. Uh, here is the um, gaggle of far left wing activists, the extremists that are pushing this absurd idea. They go on to say that the 13th Amendment um, uh, has the same language that we have in the state of California, it says uh, 13th Amendment, this is the U.S. Constitution, neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, except as a punishment for crime, whereof the party shall have been duly convicted. Sounds to me like due process, you know, fair. Uh, that it shall not exist in the United States. Now, uh, they say that uh, we need to eliminate that exemption for criminals because criminals have rights too, and we shouldn't force them to do any work. And if you put someone behind bars and ask them to clean a toilet or do laundry or mop the floor, that that is unjust. It is, it is absolute slavery. It's inhumane. Oh, for God's sakes, you people need your head damn examined. Uh, and they say that, you know, well, putting pe people in prison inherently is racist. That's really what they're talking about. It's, it's not about racism. It's really about not punishing people for committing crimes. So Cal Matters has an, uh, a question, pretty common sense question. If Californians vote to ban, sl ban slavery this fall, will prisoners get a raise? Answer, 
Yes, <laughs> they will. Because in previous court cases, uh, California's Supreme Court, the U.S. Supreme Court, they've all said, look, when you're behind bars, you don't get the same protections afforded to workers across the state. So in other words, you don't get a minimum wage. If the prison warden, warden says you're going to clean the toilet or you're going to mop the floor, that's what you're going to do. Now, uh, prisoners actually are paid, and I don't know why, but mm, okay, uh, they are paid. Uh, some amount of money. It's not minimum wage, but they get some money. Again, if it were up to me, I wouldn't pay them a dime. I would just simply say, you did the crime, you do the time, and you're going to do some of the work associated with the costs of the taxpayer providing you with uh, a roof over your head, uh, providing you with medical care, food. So all of these things are provided in prison. We don't do any sort of you know uh, rehabilitation programs, but we certainly... And give them all these little goodies, and boy, do they have a lot of rights. And so um, they call it forced labor. Oh, it's so inhumane to do forced labor. Well, again, we're paying the full boat for these people to be behind uh, 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 bars. The ACLU says that there are injustices of prison labor nationwide. Not only do they have to, you know, help defray the cost of the taxpayer for putting them behind bars. But shouldn't prison be like, oh, I don't know, not a fun experience? Shouldn't it be a punishment? Shouldn't they actually work and, and, and learn some uh, discipline? A lot of them commit crimes because nobody required them to follow rules and take care of themselves in any way, shape, or form. Again, these are the far leftists who will promote policies that end up costing you and I our lives, our property, and uh, making a lot of victims in the process. Uh, here is uh, what uh, we believe will happen under uh, this um, uh, uh, amendment. Not only will uh, prisoners be able to say, I don't want to do the work, but you know, and that's going to hit taxpayers because that's going to cause a whole lot of um, added expense in prisons. But the prisons will say, well, uh, we can't hire people to come in. It would be a lot of hassle. So let's go ahead and give them the minimum wage costing you more for taxpayers. But that's not what this is really about. This is about worker rights on a much grander scale. So for example, if you um, have ACA or, or uh, Proposition 6, it's Prop 6 on your ballot, and of course we're urging a no vote on this crap sandwich of uh, uh, lunacy, um, not only would they get a big pay increase um, for their work, but they could form a union. They could also say that the, the um, work conditions are unsafe in the prison. And so you would have lawyers able to come in and basically uh, bring these criminals on as clients in suing the state of California. Currently, they can't do that because the Supreme Court has pretty much ruled, yep, you're behind bars. You can be told by the warden to do whatever the hell he, the warden wants you to do. And, uh, you know, he can pay you what he wants you to pay you, give you whatever work assignment under work, whatever conditions. Labor law does not apply to you. Not so if the liberals get their way and pass Prop 6. And sadly, I think a lot of voters in California are too stupid to understand what's really going on here. They're being bamboozled by the left. They're being lied to by the politicians. And they might get duped into uh, unknowingly voting for Prop 6, thinking I'm banning slavery, right? I I'm woke. I'm woke. No, you're going to make us broke, broke, and you're going to give more wa uh, wages and more rights to these, these criminals. But there's an ACLU um, um, report here with a prison labor survey. 70% of the prisoners complain that they're not able to abort, afford their necessities with their low prison wages. Oh, boo, hoo, hoo. We already give you all the uh, benefits. What? You, 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 you're basically wanting money for smokes, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. 64% um, say, I'm concerned about my safety while working. Well, because there's a lot of bad people in prison, I'd be concerned if I were behind bars. Maybe you shouldn't do the crime in the first place. That's what they'll say. It's like, oh, they're, they're having me do work with other criminals and these other criminals – could shank me or shiv me or whatever the hell it's called. Um, again, 
once you give them these rights, the lawyers will blow these rights up into absurd lawsuits against you, the taxpayer, and you, the taxpayer, are going to be forced to foot the bill. 70% say, I get no formal job training uh, to do the mess hall duty, to clean a toilet. I mean, a lot of these jobs in prison, not very complicated. 76% are reporting that they are forced to work or face additional punishment. Uh-huh. You never listened to your mama when she said, clean up your room, which is why you're probably on the, the bad path that you're on. Part of prison should be the, the, the discipline and, of course, the, uh, the punishment. So we're urging a no vote on Prop 6. As politically uncorrect as that may be, when you actually delve into the details, you understand why uh, – we need to spread the word to voters and let them know what's really on the ballot. Again, this is how all these bad pro coddle the criminal policies are hidden and approved by voters in California is that the politicians are liars, cheats, and thieves. And that's a, a compliment uh, to liars, cheats, and thieves, or, or actually um, it's an insult to put them in the same league as California politicians. So what we need to do is spread the word and I need your help. First, like and subscribe to this channel. It helps us goose the algorithm and get the message out. Uh, second, please go to reformcalifornia.org, reformcalifornia.org, chip in a contribution so that we can distribute our plain English voter guide to target voters in the November election. We need c to cover the cost of texting, postage, printing the voter guide. We also invite you to sign up if you're not already on the list. Sign up at the bottom of reformcalifornia.org, and we will send you a digital version of the Plain English Voter Guide for you to use and to share with all your other friends and uh, family members and fellow voters. Word of mouth marketing is how we are powering this movement, but we can't activate you in that effort unless you sign up online at reformcalifornia.org. Um, it will cover all of the ballot measures, both state and local on your ballot, and it will also give you recommended endorsements in all the important races from judge to school board all the way up to state legislature and the U.S. Congress. So please sign up for the voter guide. It is our most powerful weapon against the left in the state of California. And please do chip into the fight, put gas in our tank so we can fight lunatic ideas like Proposition 6. So I urge you, vote no on Proposition 6. It doesn't ban slavery. It only coddles criminals. Until next time, Carl DeMaio, Chairman of Reform California. Help us break through the censorship of the liberal media. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, and smash that notification button so you can stay up to date on all the developments in California news and politics. Also, please visit the website reformcalifornia.org for ongoing news coverage and to join one of our campaigns in the fight to take back our state. If you can, please sign up as a volunteer or chip in a contribution. This episode of Reform California with Carl DeMaio, paid for by Carl DeMaio for State Assembly 2024.